This was the moment the fire broke out in the hall as the bride and groom danced together on their wedding day. As the ceiling started to fall, the band stopped playing as parents grabbed their children and guests ran for their lives. In their first interview since the disaster on Tuesday night, Revan, the groom, told Sky News what had happened. His new wife, Hanin, didn't say a word. She is too devastated to speak. I grabbed my wife and I began to drag her. I kept dragging her and trying to get her out of the kitchen entrance. As people were fleeing, they were trampling on her. Her legs are injured. This photo of the bride and groom holding hands was the last picture taken of them before the fire started. From another video angle, you can see the flares around the dance floor that might have ignited the decorations on the roof. But Revan believes the fireworks were not the cause of the fire. On the wedding night, why did this happen? What did we do? Why did this happen? Authorities in Iraq have suggested that the wedding hall was built out of cheap materials and 14 people have been arrested, including the owner of the venue. That's it, we can't live here anymore. We can't live here anymore. I mean, every time we try to have some happiness, something tragic happens to us and destroys the happiness. So it's best for us to leave. She's lost 10 relatives from her family, her loved ones, her mum, her brother. She can't speak. More funerals were held in the town of Hamdanir on Friday. Some people lost three, four, even five members of their own family. One guest at the wedding said everyone there had lost someone. It's true, we're sitting here in front of you alive, but inside we're dead. We are numb. We're dead inside. The family has now gone into hiding. Some people in their town are blaming them for what happened and saying they are responsible for the people who died. Revan and Hanin's big day, their happy day, will forever be one of tragedy. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News.